Hey everybody, David Lyle with Popular Woodworking. Welcome back to the Popwood Shop and Popwood Playback. It's a new year. It's a new season, maybe, of uh, Popwood Playback. I'll remind you what this is all about uh, as we take a stroll through the war zone of our shop. I am continuing to pursue perfecting this shop. And so we've been rearranging things. We have our new saw stop is mostly together, mostly together. That thing will have the fence on today. After this, I'm putting the fence on. Um, and then after that, um, we are going to have our editor in town. So next week, you will probably get a pop play playback with Andrew Zollner, our editor. Uh, he works remote and he will be in town. So anyway, here's what I wanted to talk about. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is the magazine. Um, the magazine has become somewhat of my baby or more of my baby than uh, it has in the past. I think in the last episode of Popwood Playback, I talked about how I've moved into the senior editor position. And so my time is devoted to the print magazine. And right here, we have the last year of popular woodworking. And I don't know how closely you follow our print stuff, uh, but going back to February of 2018, uh, this was the last issue that Megan Fitzpatrick, our former editor, uh, put together. And then we move into April, where Brendan Gaffney, our former managing editor, uh, shepherded that issue through the process. And then Andrew Zollner really took the lead from June on. November, we hit our redesign. December, February, this just shipped. You should have this if you are a subscriber. And yesterday, Yesterday, I read through the final binder, which is the very final step of this issue being uh, finalized before it goes to print. Um, this is the April issue, and I'm really excited about it. Not because I'm on the cover, uh, but because it has good projects. Uh, I did an outfeed table for it that has an X carve inside of it. It's really cool. I can't wait to take it home. Um, but there's other great projects in there, and so that's coming up. And I just wanted to say a word about the magazine. Here's how I think about it. Our magazine is sort of like our Patreon. So it is $19.99 to subscribe to Popular Woodworking for a year. And according to my calculations, that's a dollar 60 something a month. We were, we've been around long before YouTube, long before Patreon, and so, you know, our model of how these videos come to you is a little different than what you see from other content creators. And so, you know, as you watch our videos, pop with playback, some of our sponsored videos and our other tips and tricks videos that we put up here, um, I'd encourage you to think about our channel being sustained by the print issues, uh, which is essentially our Patreon, uh, and our sponsored videos and the partners that we work with there. And so our goal is to bring you the very best woodworking instruction and content possible. And we have a big platform to do that. And I wanna leave you with this before I get into some videos. Pitch us. Uh, myself and Andrew Zollner, our editor, we are always open to pitches. If you wanna see your project in one of these issues, we are well underway in 2019. The June issue has the articles in, they're ready to be edited and put in the layout. Uh, and beyond there, we have other articles already in and planned out uh, for almost the rest of 2019. But if you have a pitch for an article that you can deliver a few thousand words with, with some professional looking images, you should talk to us. Send us an email at popwood at fwmedia.com you know, because we are always asking people for articles, but if you're sitting on a really good idea and we don't know it, and you don't know that we want it, like, just send us an email. You should do that. So anyhow, I wanna just get into some videos. I don't have very specific videos for this first uh, episode of Popwood Playback. I wanted to talk about the channels that I'm excited about for 2019. So the first channel that I'm really excited about for this year is Third Coast Craftsman. He has had an explosive 2018. 
Uh, he quit his job and he's went full-time content creator. Uh, and he does really quality projects that takes uh, traditional hand skills uh, very seriously. And so I'm pumped for him. He just crossed 200,000 subs. Uh, and he, the video we're gonna link to is his second most recent because it's a channel update where he talks about sponsorships and direction and that sort of thing. And so it's, uh, it's really good. Congratulations, brother, on crossing that threshold. And um, I'm just excited about what you're gonna be making for 2019. The next channel that I'm really excited about and I've been, just been delighted every time there's an upload is 3x3 Custom with Tamar. Um, I was joking with our staff and so uh, we use Slack to talk amongst our team uh, because Andrew's remote and it just it's really easy that way uh, but Tamar <laughs> uh, her last one of her last videos was a thin rip jig uh, that we actually you know it's it's a jig that's been around for some time but she has this way of surfacing jigs and tips and tricks that uh, have been done before, but really, really creatively and uh, with her own touch. And so um, that was a really good uh, video on her thin rib jig. She just had another one about um, how to drill angled dowels uh, for dowel joinery, which is outstanding. Dowels are totally underrated and it's great joinery for someone that doesn't have a domino or the capability of doing Morris and 10 and that sort of thing. So check out her latest video. I'm excited for the growth in her channel. I'm sure it will continue. The next channel is from Andrew Klein. He is, I think he's just kind of one of those guys that has too many ideas. And so he started a YouTube channel. Um, I think he's an engineer by, by day and content creator by night. Um, but he is an inventor and so uh, one of his big projects coming up is this twin turbo vise for woodworking uh, that's all a geared mechanism. It's really good looking, a very fair price that he just released on it. Um, and he's also, you might know him from a previous invention, the miter fold uh, set. Uh, what, uh, it's on the t you run it on the table saw and it lets you do mi folded miters uh, really easily. Um, and that got picked up by Rockler. So anyway, he just completed a really sweet um, cabinet build that's really inventive. Again, I just, when I think of Andrew Klein, I think of him as an inventor. And so uh, 2019 seems to be shaping up to be another great year for his channel. Uh, so be sure to subscribe to that one and check out his work. Next up is Worth Effort. This is Sean Graham's channel and I've shared him many times in the, over the last year because uh, he's a friend of the magazine. Um, I think he's a good guy and he's a great woodworker. He's great with hand tools. He's an awesome turner. He actually has, uh, I think, a two-part um, series coming up in the magazine, in the print magazine, on turning. And so I'm really excited for his work uh, to continue to grow. You know, I, when I watch his videos, I think of uh, just how personal they feel. It feels like you're really like, He's an instructor and he really wants you to become a better woodworker. Uh, and so Sean, congrats on the growth in your channel. I've had a nice little spike recently um, and 2019 is gonna be a great year. So let's uh, go over to his channel and check that out. The last two things I wanna share with you are vlogs. Uh, vlogs are of course very popular. Uh, not as much in the woodworking community, becoming more so. I can think of John Malecki uh, and Katz Moses who are really taking the vlog thing more seriously, or at least that style. Uh, but anyhow, I wanna share two old timers, and don't be offended by that name, old timers, but people that have been around on YouTube for longer than most that have adopted the vlog in recent months. Uh, Paul Sellers and Stumpy Nubs have both started vlogging. Uh, you know, and, and I really like their take on vlogging because it's not the, uh, the same approach that everyone is going for these days, the Casey Neistat version. Um, but they have uh, sort of more annotated, you know, they're kind of walking you through their process. And sometimes it's a couple days at a time, uh, but they're both great vlogs and I really appreciate their sincerity in them. And so, of course, check those channels out. So I appreciate you following along over 2018 as we kind of kicked up this Popwood playback experiment for our team. You know, this is not a sponsored video. We do it because we love woodworking. We love the content creator community that's uh, all around woodworking videos. And so, um, you know, our channel grew from 97,000 subs to 140,000 subs. 
whoa, 147,000 subs uh, over the last year. And so we're thankful for those 50,000 subs and we're thankful for the subs that are coming in 2019. Um, so next week, I hope we kind of get back into our standard format, which is bringing you the best woodworking videos of the past week uh, and sharing them with you with a little bit of commentary from me uh, and potentially other people. Uh, the offer still stands. If you want to host this, if you want to take over our channel for a day, the opportunity is yours. Just send me an email. Um, send me an email to david.lyle at fwmedia. If you want to pitch us for the magazine like I was talking earlier, send that to popwood at FW Media so that Andrew and I and some other folks see that. So with that, thanks for uh, tracking along with us and sorry there's so many words in this video, but we'll see you next week and thank you.